Hello everyone, so we are happy to announce that we are going to start our new tutorial about the AWS Data Engineering course and this will be a complete tutorial about the AWS Data Engineering from a basic to the advanced level. If you are new in this particular channel, please do subscribe, please do support, please do like so that I will try to cover each and every topic. Uh, whatever is required to crack any kind of the data engineering role okay so and this particular playlist will be about all the AWS data engineering course so let us try to first understand what are the topic which is important to crack the AWS data engineering course and how our curriculum will look like okay before coming to this uh, let us try to understand what are the topics which is required to crack a interview so if I will go to the uh, any kind of the job requirements based on the job requirement let us try to understand what are the topics they are asking okay so uh, this is a uh, one of the role and this is one of the AWS data engineering role okay if I will show you this is for the Capgemini and if, if you will see what are the skill they are looking for right they are looking for a skill like the AWS service like a lambda glue EMR Redshift data warehouse pass DB plus Python knowledge okay so these are the particular skill which they are looking like the lambda is very much important glue is re requirement from the ETL perspective from a red ship perspective from EMR perspective map radius perspective and also they are looking for the Python okay similarly I will go to the another role okay if you will see this is also one of the requirement from this company let us try to understand what they are looking for the skills so they are looking for like the AWS EMR AWS Glue, AWS Athena, AWS DynamoDB, AWS Redshift, AWS RDS, AWS Aurora. Okay, so these are the skill which they are looking for. They are looking for experience with building S3 bucket, S3 and the Glacier. So these all are the storage services. Experience with the AWS Kinesis, Kafka, Spark. Okay, so these are the streaming services. Okay, they are looking for the SQL query they are looking for the language any language python so this are kind of the requirement generally ask in a aws data engineer role let me move to the another role so this is also for the aws data engineer role and if you look into the uh, responsibility they are looking for the spark framework on uh, python it is nothing but a PySpark. python and PySpark we have seen they are looking for the s3 or hdfs like the storage service AWS Lambda which is very much important AWS Glue Kafka uh, you can see ETL jobs we should know about the S3 bucket Glue Athena AWS CloudWatch so these are the kind of the requirement which generally ask in an interview okay so based on this only we are trying to build our the playlist and we'll try to cover each and every topic okay so how actually our curriculum will look like let us try to discuss about that okay so let me show you so how actually we are going to cover a topic so we will we are going to start with our first topic that will be the that will be the we will start with the ec2 because ec2 is also important because whenever we deal right in a form of the cluster where we require a multiple cluster uh, we have to create so then in that case the ec2 is very much important okay so we will start our topic with the ec2 i will try to upload some video related related to the EC2 how actually we can create a EC2 and after that we will move to the storage service and this is most important in terms of the data engineering role in a storage we are going to learn about the S3 okay we will try to cover each and every topic related to the S3 also okay after that S3 we will try to understand about the IM role and this is very much important when we talk about the from the access pers perspective okay after the IM we will start with the uh, other services like the lambda in the lambda we'll try to understand how actually we can uh, how actually the serverless api we can use okay how actually the serverless lambda we can use and uh, uh, how actually we can uh, build a pipeline also data pipeline from the data engineering perspective how actually we can use a lambda also the boto3 libraries and all which is very much used in the industry that actually we are going to understand in the lambda function okay after the lambda we will start with uh, our aws glue that is nothing but our the etl pipeline which say etl pipeline you should know about the etl pipeline so for that we use uh, aws glue after this we will cover the aws athena okay that is nothing but serverless serverless query engine okay so you can query 
on top of the S3. Okay, and also we will try to cover the AWS Kinesis. That is nothing but a how the real time streaming data flows. So that actually we'll try to cover. Okay, AWS Kinesis or AWS Firefox. So that actually we'll try to cover in this uh, particular. After the Kinesis, we'll try to understand about the AWS CloudWatch. That is also very much important, and uh, we'll also try to understand about the AWS EMR and Redshift, which is most asking a uh, uh, requirement. Okay. After that, other topic which is left from the uh, data engineering perspective. Okay. So we'll try to add more topic which is uh, which is most asked in the interview perspective. Okay. So and also after that, we'll try to do a more projects projects. Okay, so these are the topics which I am thinking as of now. But we'll try to add more topics which is required to crack the any kind of the data engineering role. Okay, and in the project we will try to uh, do all the projects like how actually you can uh, build a pipeline, how the real time data will flow, how actually you can use a ETL pipeline, how actually you can query with the help of the Athena. So everything we are going to uh, learn in this particular video, okay? And if you will see in the requirement also, so mostly these are the topic which they are asking, okay? There is one more topic that is a PySpark. So we will also try to cover the PySpark also, okay? So PySpark, S3, AWS Glue, Athena, uh, AWS Glue, Athena, Kafka, AWS Lambda, PySpark. So these are the topic most mostly asked in an interview. So everything we are going to cover in this particular playlist. So only the thing which is required is like to support from your end. Please do subscribe. Please do support so that we will try to cover each and every topic. And this is completely free. Yeah. So yeah, that's it in this video. Thank you.